Okay, so I'm videoing, so say good Thursday morning. Can you say it? Can you say it? Mm. No? Mm. Yeah, we're at seminary and Henry is playing with his tigers. Henry loves tigers and has for most of his life, I'd say since he was about a year old. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yep, tigers are his thing. So I'm cooking up some bacon, this bacon from Sprouts that we got yesterday. And we save our bacon grease and then reuse it. But I just wanted, I mean, does that look beautiful or what? And look at that. Isn't that just so lovely? Um, so I'm having us some blackberries. So is everybody else. I probably have had about six. Um, Tim said this bacon is really good. So I haven't tried it yet, but he said it's really good. This bacon is incredible. So if you have a Sprouts near you, their bacon is on sale right now. I think it's two ninety nine a pound, and it's thick and so delicious. So perfectly delicious. So I'm gonna eat this one piece, probably another piece. But since I have lunch with my friend at eleven thirty, I'm not gonna eat a whole lot this morning and pot probably my keto collagen drink because I like to start the day out with that. So I got my keto collagen drink here. I love this drink. It's nice and hot. And chocolatey, sort of chocolatey. It's like watery chocolate. There you go. But then adding in the heavy whippy cream makes it makes it pretty good. And I'm getting a little better at my frother. That bacon is so good. I had another piece and I might go for a third. I'm going out to lunch with my friend. I don't know if I mentioned that. But she wants to go to a Mongolian place, so I'll be doing meat and veg and seeing what my options are in the oil department, but I don't think there are going to be any healthy oils, so I might just have to compromise on that. So, hey, Tal, will you come stop this for me, please? Okay, so I am heading out right now to go pick up my friend, and we're going to... Uh, Mongolian barbecue place and so yeah I'm gonna do meat and veg I'll show you what I get I probably won't do a whole lot of talking because when I'm with my friends and stuff I try not to do a lot of videoing both for the awkwardness factor and I just don't want to be too rude so um really quickly because I am pushing it time wise let me show you what I got for the list of people who are doing meaty Monday Okay, oh, it's backwards, of course. I'll show it to you in a second. But um, if I, if you're not on this list and you want to be on this list, please message me or, well, I, guess, I don't know if you can message me, but comment below. Let me know so we can add you on that. Okay, so these are the people that I have so far. Angie, myself, Christy, Teresa, Marna, Kimber, Leslie, Aretha, and Tracy. If I somehow missed you, please, please, please let me know. Um, and we're just going to link to each other's channels on our um, Meaty Monday videos so that we can kind of have this as like a collab. So I have calamari and chicken and beef and pork, onions, bell peppers, cabbage, um, broccoli, the peanuts, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds with like a garlic butter and sesame uh, oil and sesame oil. Henry is really into dog sleds right now and learning about them and we watched this documentary about them and stuff. Um, and also, of course, we watched Togo, so he made himself this awesome dog sled guy. Super cute. So I ended up having a second plate. It was basically the same as what you saw on the first plate, except I had uh, more calamari, no chicken, no bell peppers, and I just had a couple of little tiny slices of zucchini. Um, I did put soy sauce on both of them, which is not good. It's not the best. I didn't put it like with the ladle where you do at the beginning, but I did sprinkle some on it at the um, table because it was just kind of um, bland. So, and I know, I know that they use canola oil for their oil there, so that's not good. I wasn't sure what to do. I did some garlic broth and some garlic oil and then sesame oil in both plates. Um, and a little bit of lime juice um, 
the sauces are tricky because I, I couldn't have most of them. I knew for a fact most of them would have tons of sugar in them. And the um, uh, oil one I knew was not good oil. Like, I, I almost never eat at that place. It's called Who Hot. Um, in fact, I probably eat there once a year. So um, I just kind of made a decision that at this moment it was going to be okay. That was what's available to me. Um, interestingly enough, I do feel quite hungry, and I did even after I left. Um, and I almost never feel hungry when I eat a keto meal. It, it lasts me for a long time. So I know, I know there's stuff in there, probably some hidden carbs and just some things that weren't good for me that were kind of, um, you know, just not the best choices. But it is what it is. My friend wanted to go there, and I feel like the last few times we've gone out, um, we've gone to places that were um, a little easier for me to choose food from, but not her favorite places. And so I told her to choose. And um, it was a wonderful. I her, her and I are very good friends, and we were together for almost three hours, so but it was great. Um, I have a bit of a headache, so I need to, um, oh, I just now realized I haven't had any sole, <gasps> and I haven't taken my bet former or anything, ah, so I gotta do that, because it's like 3.30, you're responsible, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go take my sole, my vitamins, my metformin, and then I'm running to Costco to, to uh, stock up in a couple things, and I'll show you what I get. Yep, I'm going to have some of the raspberry herbal tea over ice. This time I'm not going to put in a ton of uh, whipping cream. I think this is so beautiful. Mostly beautiful. It gets a little weird with the raspberry. I don't know if there's something in the raspberry that makes it kind of like look chunky or something. But I do like the white and red together. It's pretty. Okay, that's my drink. All right, I'm at Costco. And that girl right there, Claire, she's doing keto with me too. So we're picking up some stuff. We were gonna buy string cheese, but then I was a cheapskate and saw how expensive it was. And I was like, no, you can make your own string cheese. <laughs> so she's gonna cut up some mozzarellas into sticks and freeze them and try Christy's thing where you wrap it in bacon and cook it. So, getting clear sharp cheddar. That's, That's what she likes. It's a little bit more expensive than the mild, but yeah, now we gotta splurge a little bit. But I'm not gonna buy $12 string cheese. No way, I'm just not doing it. So, we'll see how that turns out. Ooh. Let's see here, Claire. So we've got, well, let me show you, we've got some, sorry, Claire, we've got the cheese, including the, let me turn this around. Two sharp cheddars. Two sharp cheddars. One mild cheddar. And one mild cheddar. cheddar. One Mott's. And we got the Greek yogurt for Claire because she does that. And the butter. I'm not a big yogurt fan anymore, so I don't. So Claire's a week and a half in on keto. She'll be two weeks on Monday. She's actually been doing really awesome. I'm impressed. I haven't had to, um, I don't know. She's, she's like determined and not tempted by anything. So she's doing really good. Okay, I need to focus, so check in later. Okay, so we're getting four more bags of the chicharrones. These were on sale too. This is what I use to make. Well, I actually don't use this. I use Hidden Valley to make the homemade ranch because yeah it's not perfect but it's good enough for me and coconut milk because sometimes we use that and I think Claire you making some coconut fat bombs mm -hmm. yeah she's gonna make and some lemon. and lemon seaweed, oil. seaweed yeah so this is for Tim not me These? those are not keto are I am videoing they're not keto so you know my keto collagen drink that I talk about all the time? This is it. Yes, it is very expensive, but it uh, 
it's a it's a must for me. It is a must. Okay, we also got some. Oh, there's peanuts. Claire likes peanuts, so she's got that. We got three of these Dukes because they're on sale. I don't eat Dukes unless I have to because I don't like them. But they are a pretty good snack if you're desperate. But this is our Costco haul. We got the girls some socks. It was so sunny and beautiful this morning, and now it's freezing cold and windy and kind of feels like snow. <sighs> A couple of things. One, I don't know if I mentioned this, but my husband and I are going to a Utah Jazz basketball game today. They're playing the Nuggets. My husband loves the Jazz. Look at this new shirt I got. Well, we got it in Utah when we were there in December. And I um, hope I'm not too cold. I don't like wearing short sleeve in this the winter. So I'm going to wear a hoodie and then a winter jacket over it. But I'm also reading this book. Oh, maybe you can't see it, but it's called The Color of Water, and it is excellent. It is about a man who is black, and his mom was a white Jewish woman, and it just talks about his life, and she had 12 kids, um, so I'm finding it fascinating, because I can kind of relate a little bit, so, but he kind of grew up in the 60s, so it was an interesting time for their family. Um, anyway, but we're heading out to the basketball game. With, we're going with some friends, and so we got to get a move on because it's time. I think we're stopping at Wendy's and getting Dave's singles. Um, I might bring myself a couple of pieces of bacon to eat and possibly some dark chocolate. So I will see you later on. Bacon? Jonas. I don't know what I <laughs> I don't know what I'll actually end up eating. I know it will be the bacon for sure. Not sure on the other stuff. We'll have to make it with two hours of
very sad that we lost. It is 12.30 and we're headed home, but first Tim is scraping the ice off of our windshield. So hope you had a great day. See you later.